In today's video, we're going to learn how to get rid of this bar at the bottom of our Z Fold 7. And this applies to all of us that are using swipe gestures. We're also going to learn how to enable legacy swipe gestures so you have multiple options for interacting with your Z Fold 7. In order to do this, we're going to need Samsung's GoodLock, a free customization suite designed for your Galaxy device, made by Samsung, zero ads. And if you don't already have it installed, you want to head out to the Samsung Galaxy Store, and then just search for Samsung's GoodLock, and there's what it looks like. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open up GoodLock. In the module we want to open is Navstar. If you've never used Navstar before, it's going to prompt you to install it. And then once you have it installed, it'll be available after that. And then you'll just tap to go into it. And all we're going to be doing is enabling one setting. So first, I want to show you what the settings look like before we turn on this setting. So we're going to hop into our main phone settings. We're going to head over to display. All right, then we're going to scroll down until we get to navigation bar. And then we're going to switch over to more options if you have swipe gestures enabled. Again, this video is intended for people that are using swipe gestures and not buttons. So we go into more options. And this is all we get. We can adjust the gesture sensitivity. So now we're going to go back to Samsung's Good Lock. We're going to turn on Navstar. And the third option down, enable extra gesture settings. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And we'll go ahead and minimize out of here. And we'll go back to our settings. And I'm going to go back into them fresh. Display. We'll go back to navigation bar. All right. Now we're at swipe gestures, more options. Now look at what we have. We have swipe from bottom, swipe from sides and bottom, which is a current default that we're all used to. And then we have this option, gesture hint. Let's turn this off. As soon as we do that, that dumb little bar is gone and it's gone forever. Well, it's gone until you disable Navstar and turn off that setting anyways. And now that we've done that, we can go back up to the top and we can switch between the current swipe gestures, which is to swipe up to go home and to swipe from the sides to go back if you're inside an application, to using the old school swipe gestures, which is going to use the bottom part of the screen and I'll show you how those work. So with legacy swipe gestures, it works like this. If you swipe up from the bottom left, this is gonna pull up your recent apps. If you swipe up from the middle, this is gonna take you back home. And if you swipe from the bottom right, this is like hitting the back key. It's going to keep bringing you back, 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 and back. So it's a lot like using the side gestures for the new type of navigation style. So you have your choice. You can go back to the legacy type gestures. You can keep using the new ones. I think the most important setting is to get rid of that gesture bar, which it looks a lot nicer once that's uh, disabled. And to turn all this stuff back off, just hop back into Navstar, turn this one toggle back off, and then disable Navstar, and you'll be right back to square one. All right, if you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. Really do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.